so moving on to the last and the final step that is plotting of root locus on the real axis so this is the s plane this is the imaginary axis this is real axis of s plane firstly we will plot all the poles and zeros so pole p1 lies at 0 pole p2 lies at minus 2 pole p3 lies at here is minus 1 here is 2 here is minus 2 so pole p3 lies here and pole p4 lies here and we have one zero that lies at minus one since the centroid of asymptote is equal to minus 1.33 so it will be just like here so it will serve as a centroid minus 1.33 and the angle made by asymptote is equal to 60 180 and 300 so this is the 60 degree angle this is 180 degree angle and this is 300 degree and we also calculated that root locus lies from minus 1 to 0 that is in this section and also from minus infinite to minus 2 that is in this section since we have studied that the branch of the root locus will emerge from the pole and go to the zero that's why here the pole and the zeros are nearby to each other that's why one branch of root locus will emerge from this pole go in this direction towards this zero and this is one pole and since there are no other zeros for its emerging that's why we consider it as a imaginary zero so this pole also go in this direction branch of the root locus will emerge from this pole and go in this direction towards the imaginary zero so this is all about the two branches of root locus since the total number of branches of root locus is equal to 4 so we have to talk about remaining two branches that will arise from this pole and this pole following an angle of 60 degree since the angle of departure is equal to 0 that's why this branch of the root locus emerges from this pole and following the path of the 60 degree it will go to the imaginary 0 and also from here the branch of the root loc another branch of the root locus will emerge and go to the imaginary zero so this is the complete plot